Okay, guys, so some empathic painting today. I have a blindfold because I decided to give this a shot um, without saying what I'm doing. So maybe it'll be fun. Maybe it'll be crazy. Don't know. Uh, let's get our cards out to give us a topic. See what's going on there. Do that one. Okay, and this deck. All right, what do we have? We have Knight with number 33 and Intuition. Interesting. And, and there's like a moon here and stars with the whole night thing. And maybe it's not supposed to be, but I feel like I'm seeing water in this one. Maybe it's just because of the colors. Um, looks like it could be snow or like the tops of waves, the foam. And we have all these birds looking down. Maybe they're supposed to be asleep. Night and intuition. Hmm. Okay. We'll see what happens. I'm going to move these because I don't want anything to get paint just in case. No paint. Here comes the blindfold. This is going to be interesting. Alrighty. And get adjusted there. All right, pressure on my eyes. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but it's it, because it's filled with something, sometimes it's just the pressure is a bit weird. Okay, um, I, I am going to just, just to prove that I really don't know what I'm looking at or grabbing, I'm mixing these up. That's a brush, okay. Um, <laughs> kind of interesting that that I am doing this blindfold and we got the night card, right? Because it's, you know, we're supposed to, we don't see as well in the dark, which maybe that's the point right there. We don't see as well in the dark. And so we need to use our intuition more to understand in dark times, perhaps. Um, let's go ahead and start this. I don't want to get too messy. Because, you know, i got to clean up after this. But is it even coming out? I can't tell. I don't know. Where, okay, I'll put that one over there. I was watching. I don't know if any of you watch, like, any of the Gaia specials. Um, I, I was watching this one that really was proving the use of um, masks and showing that our consciousness can see before we do. Like it's, um, <laughs> guys, this is, it's funny, but awkward. Cause I don't even know if I'm on like the page. Okay. Yeah, that one felt light. Okay. Um, anyway, so these, these people are wearing masks. Maybe you've seen it. Um, if you want to go look it up, it's the, it's the superhuman series. It's the fourth episode. And anyways, these people are wearing masks. Children wear masks, adults wear masks, and they're, they block all the light and they learn to rely on their consciousness. They can read, they can, they can run obstacle courses. They can count out money. Um, it, it's, it's amazing. It's totally amazing. And I feel like we should all like dig into this more. Like this needs to be mainstream. Okay. Do I want, no, I don't want this one. I don't know what color it is, but I'm not going to use it. Um, <laughs> Okay. 
I'm going to go ahead. I've been a little all over, so I'm going to go ahead and really dive into the energy now. And allow, allow the flow, allow the intuition to come. Be in that higher self state. I am at the moment feeling frustration. There is frustration involved with this night and intuition thing. I don't know if I'm hitting someone that is um, watching, and so this is for you, or if this is just a, a part of it, like a general message. Um, let's go deeper and see. I, okay guys, I, I am going to let go and go with the flow completely, completely. And sometimes I judge myself on this. And so I hope that you can be with me and help me not to judge myself and just let it happen. Um, I'm feeling fear and asking for help. There's something crying out for help. Help me. Please give clarity. Please bring clarity. Okay, okay. Um, so I was just reminded of uh, a particular actual realization for me that recently happened. Um, and I'm going to give all the details of it. The way that it, um, sorry, that was me scratching my nose. I'm not removing the mask. Um, the way that it appeared first off was like when I did this, it was like long reeds of grass, right? Long grass blowing in the wind. And sometimes this can be turbulent and sometimes it can be calming. And so it's like this perspective switch. And, and here's my story. I, I came... I don't want to say out of Christianity or religion, um, because I, I do believe I was there for a reason and for a purpose, and I do believe it has purpose in our lives. Um, but I did start to feel a bit jaded, and I started looking at all these other belief systems, and, and not even systems, but just people's beliefs, and it felt chaotic. It was like... I was swimming in this ocean of all these screaming people and I was trying to make sense of it. I was trying to make it all work and I couldn't. And this was like a 10 year process. And just recently, it was like, I'm still in the same situation, but I have a new perspective and that it's actually beautiful. This chaos is beautiful because all of these people have their own path and their own journey, their own expression, their own story. It's, it doesn't have to be a certain way and you don't have to make everything fit. And the mystery of life is engrossing and beautiful. It's fascinating. And there doesn't have to be this like rigid, straight, works for everybody answer. So when I came to this realization, I just felt peace. And it was like so much fell into place for me. It was truly beautiful. I hope that this can be encouraging for you. I don't know if you're going through the same situation or not, or, or if you have already gone through it and you just really resonate with what I'm saying. Um, I would love to hear. I would love to hear your thoughts, guys. 
But let's see, any more? Do I need to this way? I'm gonna go this way. Oh. Is it dry? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> There's dryness here. Am I supposed to just leave it? Maybe. I have no clue. <sighs> I guess this is kind of the whole thing as well, right? When we're in the dark and we can't figure out which way to go. We don't know where is safe. We need to rely on that intuition. We need to, oh, here, here we go. So I was just having a conversation actually last night with a dear friend that when we are so in our head and things are confusing and we can't figure stuff out because mystery, you know, the universe is mysterious. It doesn't always make sense. It's not logical. Um, it gets us rigid and like distracted and confused feeling and it's not a good place. And so if we can drop into that intuition mode, that heart mode, that flowing mode somehow, whatever your way is, um, gosh, I, I'm sure there are plenty of ways. That's another thing I would love to hear from you guys. Give me, give me your way. How do you, how do you come out of the turbulent chaos and move into flow. How do you do that? Um, for some people, it's like meditation or whatever, um, image work. There's, there's, there's plenty of ways, listening to music. But yeah, that using our intuition in these dark times and allowing ourselves to believe in it, to not deny it with our brains, because it doesn't make sense, right? It doesn't have to. Life doesn't make sense. So be okay with the unknown. Trust the intuition. Trust the unknown. I, I, it's scary. It's so scary. We're going to trust. That's what I wrote. I don't know if it's obvious, but we're going to trust. Is there anything else, please? Anything else that we need to discuss with this or anything you want to bring up? Just a reminder that energy is much more flowing and free and it makes things happen faster and more quickly, you know, when we are in that state of flow. Um, it, it allows the universe, God, source, higher selves, angels, guardian angels, our spirit team, trying to mention everything, um, to work with us more easily because we flow better. And so if we are rigid and believing that things have to be a certain way or we have to absolutely understand bec before we can take a, take a step forward, we're not going to get anywhere. It doesn't work that way. We have to be able to take that step, even if we don't understand. I'm f this, here's another little silly thing, but this mask is weighing down on me. It's, it's got so much weight that it's like, I feel like my eyelids are like sat, like my, my lower eyelid area is like sagging. Um, there's pressure. And again, that reminds me of this darkness. The darkness can be a pressure on us. It weighs us down instead of being lifted up and flowing. How do you flow guys? How do you flow? Is there anything else? Go across the top. Why are we going across the top? It means something. Here's the top. And the bottom. 
Okay. Maybe that's... Are we defining something? Are we... Okay, okay. So what I'm receiving now is that it's a reminder that we don't have to take on the entire ocean right away. We can have portions, right? So if you go to a buffet, you don't grab every single thing. You can't fit it on your plate. That's just, that's not how we as humans work. So we take portions and we look at these portions and we figure out, is this right for me or not? And then you can move on and try different portions, a different part of the ocean hear different people's beliefs. Is this right for me or not? It makes it much easier. I think it really sheds light in that darkness, right? To be, that it is a more flowing state. Um, to be open to hearing and then deciding, hmm, maybe it's not right for me right now. Hmm. Yeah. Life can be so much simpler than we make it out to be. It's, it's, it's all about our perspective, guys. It's such a key thing. One day, cleaning the house is like the suckiest thing in the world to do. Another day, it's fun because I've got music going and I'm dancing around while I do it. I mean, it's just, that's perspective change. <laughs> it's rather quite simple. Okay. All right. I'm taking the mask off. Am I painted on this? I can't tell. I don't want to get paint on it. Okay. Well, that's what that looks like. I mean, it's not really any different than the ones I've done in the past. That's, I'm not an artist. I'm just doing. Okay, guys. I, I hope this has been a blessing for you. I hope that you resonate in some way. Um, give me a shout out. I would love to hear from you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.